you do, but uh, you know what? We just wanted to hit as many places as we could, you know, and 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 that's the way the tour is. We it just works out like that. you know we need to we need to get on the road and, and get the music across really and get Priest out there again, you know, and uh, that was uh, <laughs> that was the only way to do it, I guess. <laughs> shut everybody up and it's the priest thing again. Well, it is, you know, because when you are off, I mean, I've heard every rumor there could possibly be when we were off. My know? favorite's the Pantera one. That's a good one. Yeah, and I just saw Daryl the other night in, in Texas and, and we were laughing about that, you know, because you just happen to go backstage and you, you party with the guys and the next day on the internet, you know, you're becoming a new singer. You know, it was as simple as that. That's all it was. And Phil gets a call. Kill him. Yeah, you know, that's, kill him. that's exactly what it was. And, and I try to tell people, you know, they, they have Phil now, you know, come on. It's like, <laughs> and it, but, you know, everything, you know, as I'm signing a contract with Atlantic, I'm, I'm hearing that, uh, that I'm gone, you know, so I have to call, hey, am I still, is this contract all right? Knowing the relationship you have with your fans and knowing the relationship with the, the passion with Priest, did you ever kind of get a little worried, go, oh, shit, I hope this one works out? <laughs> I mean, you know he can sing, but you're like, oh, and you're calling the other guys in the band, go, listen, I don't know, <laughs> he'll be fine, but... I, I, did, I really didn't when we found Ripper, because we'd looked for five years with thousands of tapes. It's really, <laughs> really funny, some, like, this guy would be singing a note, and you'd think, yeah, this, this guy can sing, but there's something wrong about the picture. You'd notice, like, the door handle was the same level as, as his head. <laughs> Or <laughs> guys with a blue face, guys, get the show on the road, you know, not singing at all. And Russians and women and all sorts. We had to, we had to sit through this. Because you've never had a woman? <laughs> we had loads of women. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> <laughs> Don't So we get all this, you know, all this coming in. <clears throat> After five years, um, we, got, we, we narrowed it down to 12 guys. Some, a couple of you know, but most we didn't really want to name a singer. Pavarotti, Pavarotti. Pavarotti. <laughs> but really incredible singers. But as we got close to the auditions, all I knew, and I'm sure the rest of the band, we hadn't got, we hadn't got the Jews Priest singing, you know. We got great singers. They would not have worked. And then, you know, we, we found Tim, Tim's tape by accident. Once, he, once he'd come over and sung, we, we'd got no doubt at all that the band was going to be stronger than ever, you know. It can go two ways, right? I mean, it worked with ACDC. And it worked sort of once with Van Halen, but then it didn't, <laughs> you know. And then, and then you have to, and then you're really asking your audience, because for years they're really accustomed to something. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, the, obviously on the first on the on the Jugulator tour there was a, a certain percentage that came out to judge Tim, mm -hmm. but after the first song he was, you know, he was accepted. Everybody can hear, and they're just only too pleased and the, the priest are back. People have to realize that that when I came along, it was either there was either going to be no Judas Priest, really, I mean, if you look at it, or there was going to be Judas Priest with a different singer. So a lot of people have to ask themselves, well, what, what do I want? You know, nothing. Everybody to pay attention. Well, I mean, and so many bands come out of that, you know, smelling like roses, really. You know, I mean, uh, you know, Disturbed and, and Godsmack, or whatever it is that's, that's in these, the, the Ospets, I mean, after uh, doing one or t two times, they're they're huge. You know, I mean, they, in America, these bands get on regular rotations now on, on regular radio stations, and you've you've never ever heard that before. I mean, now you're hearing Seven Dust and Disturbed 20 times a day on the local pop station. You know, so who would think? And it's born out of the Operation Rock and Roll, right? Metal and hard music has always had a really good festival attitude. Yeah. It is, yeah. It always has, you know, and, and uh, uh, always will. It's because it's just a good time. It's just you get everybody, and it's fun. You know, I mean. Hard rock and heavy metal is a, is a fun thing, you know, and you just, you let things go and you, you have a good time, and it's real. Back and say, you know, we were really good and really clever at then. <laughs> it's, just, it's just unfortunate that there's a formula there that works, you know? I think it's what attracts people to the band. I mean, it's, it's what attracted me was, was versatility, you know. With, with the whole thing, the whole band, it, once I, I started listening to them, I, every album was different, you know. And, and it's, I think that's the, the attraction to Judas Priest, you know, you don't know what to expect. Fans never know exactly what they're going to get. Do you want the gig then? You guys weren't involved in the movie project. You know, just a regular guy who grew up with the posters of these guys on my walls. And now I'm one of them. Really, the movie had nothing to do with me. It was just tribute to Also, singer. when that big wave came in. 
Some the shit. Yeah. That was, that was, was too far-fetched. Tribute singer makes... Stretching. Tribute singer makes... <laughs> the real band and that's really the only similarities there was you know i mean it was a hollywood uh a hollywood movie you know it's a great story it is and it's still and you know it they used it for that so now the basis so now you know something could be done someday you know at least they they didn't use the real thing so it can be done properly you know a book a movie whatever it's there to be done and let people know what what fun it is say it, but I don't... Once the song comes up, you love doing it. There's things you've played a lot, a lot of times, like Living After Midnight, that you, you know, you, you, I suppose in the back of your mind, you think, oh, I've played that a lot, but as soon as you're on stage and the audience are there singing along with you, it's just great. You know? He really does Thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Judas Priest, loud.